Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History and a few other Tudor history books. Now, where am I taking you today? Well, I'm taking you to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. On this day in Tudor history, the 2nd of September, 1591, naval commander and explorer Sir Richard Grenville died at sea from injuries sustained while commanding his ship, the Revenge, in the Battle of Flores in the Azores. Now, Grenville had been made Vice Admiral of the Fleet under Lord Thomas Howard, and he'd been put in charge of the 500-ton galleon, the Revenge, for a mission in the Azores to intercept Spanish ships carrying treasure from America. On the 31st of August 1591, just off the island of Flores, Howard received news that a fleet of 50 Spanish ships had been sent to protect a cargo of silver. Howard's fleet numbered only 16, so he made the decision to retreat. Now, it's not known exactly what happened, but it appears that Grenville decided to ignore Howard's orders and instead chose to sail through the enemy's fleet. A long battle ensued. In fact, it's said to have been around 15 hours of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Grenville was fatally wounded and most of his crew were killed. Although the Revenge was captured by the Spanish fleet, it ended up being destroyed along with 15 Spanish warships and some merchant vessels in a storm not long after. Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote about the battle and the loss of the Revenge in his The Revenge, A Ballad of the Fleet. And in it, he included an account of Grenville ordering his men to sink the ship rather than letting it get into Spanish hands. He wrote, But Sir Richard cried in his English pride, We have fought such a fight for a day and a night as may never be fought again. We have won great glory, my men, and a day less or more at sea or ashore. We die, does it matter when? Sink me the ship, Master Gunner, sink her, split her in twain. Fall into the hands of God, not into the hands of Spain. And he goes on to record Grenville's actual death as well. And the stately Spanish men to their flagship bore him then, where they laid him by the mast, old Sir Richard caught at last, and they praised him to his face with their courtly foreign grace. But he rose upon their decks and he cried, I've fought for queen and faith like a valiant man and true. I've only done my duty as a man is bound to do. With a joyful spirit, Sir Richard Grenville died, and he fell upon their decks and he died. Now, I'll give you a link in the description to read the whole poem for yourself. It's a very, very long ballad, but it's all about the battle, the loss of the revenge and, of course, Sir Richard Grenville's death. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history. We have the death of Sir Richard Grenville after a rather unwise decision to uh, disobey orders and to actually head for the Spanish fleet and try and sail through the line of their fleet. Hmm. A decision that obviously ended up with his death. Sorry to leave you on a gloomy note, uh, but that's Tudor history for you. Uh, thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified and do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it as well. I will be back tomorrow with another Tudor history event for you. See you then. Bye bye.